disappointed. <laughs> Quite disappointed. Welcome into the show. Let us know where you're tuning in from. What day, little girls, took us uh, yeah, took the rest? Yeah. Irish, Ireland had <laughs> shamrock glasses. I just noticed London this. had rainbow glasses and a big, beautiful headband. They had the necklaces and everything, and I got stuck with the... Sunday, you're going to get pinched, and you best have your traps ready. Catch those pesky leprechauns. Ireland came up with a better idea. She said, Mom, instead of that, when the ra when a rainbow comes out on St. Patrick's Day, let's just drive and follow the rainbow. Then we'll just find the pot of gold. Some gold. And the leprechauns, Mom. <laughs> Mom. Mom. Great idea. Mom. Great idea. Well, it is a special Irish edition. Grandpa Hogan, my grandfather, 100% Irish. So I, got no, I have no choice but to drag you into this right now. And... We celebrate hard the important holidays like Leprechaun Day. It's true. Ireland's learning all about it in school, like the tradition of it. So it's kind of fun to learn through a five-year-old's eyes because I'm more like, I don't know. We just do it because of daddy's family. <laughs> like We just have bagpipes at our wedding because that's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. We did. It's it actually happened. Yeah. It actually sure happened. Sure did. Well... One simple change Hold on. can make a massive change in your waistline. We're going there in a moment as well, but we had to get the festivities fired up. I kind of like it. Keeps it warm. It keeps it warm. It is sort of your style. I just feel like you're, you would break it. We'd no. Be... no. I just kind of feel like you'd be missing a leg pretty soon. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> well, welcome in. What's up, peeps? Diana's Irish. See, she's in. She's celebrating with us. <laughs> Good morning, Julie. You found us. She said you're the pot of gold. How oh, sweet is that? Ireland is? No, she, I think she was talking us. to us. Or maybe all of us, Julie. Julie. How about all sweet. of us? <laughs> that's sweet. Paula says we're warming the heart. Sullivan says he's famous in Ireland, so he needs to go there. I'm like, well, okay, maybe you took that the wrong way. <laughs> like, he you're... Because yeah, I'm famous in Ireland. I'm like, no, your <laughs> um, name is a very a lot of people's last popular name, last name over there. But I wouldn't call you famous. They probably, why did you use a last name for your first name? Why do you have two last names? I would have done it for every kid if I didn't have to pick places for the girls. <laughs> Good morning over there in San Diego in Georgia. Oh, and it's birthday on St. Patrick's Day for Suze Nipper. Nipper. Susan Nipper. Susan Nipper. Susan, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. I hope happy St. Patty's early to everybody. March Madness is upon us. All the things. It's a good time of year to start fresh, start cleaning out perhaps your body, and get yourself prepared for summer, summer, summertime. Um, that's did, what you, it, did you want me to play a summer that, song? No, that's just what it sounded like in my head. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to help the weight line, waistline. Simple change and a challenge coming to you in the month of April. And no, this is not April Fools. Quite like nothing before. So last week we broke down a bunch of recipes, making it easy to implement this change. This week, we're going to give you a different angle at it and a recipe guide and some guides. So the simple change to make in the morning to really impact your waistline is to alter and make sure you nail breakfast, convenience, health, nutrients, and stimulate the waistline. Did you know that this one food is associated with reducing the risk of metabolic syndrome, obesity, and diabetes? And in a 2019 study in the Nutrients Journal, just in case you were wondering which one you want to look it up, consumption <laughs> resulted in lower BMI, body mass index. I talk about it a lot because ours is 70% have it too high, 70% of you listening right now, body mass index is too high, and it helps to reduce adipose tissue. That's the one we're going after. And one study found that by adding this in, by dose, it reduces body weight, and it increases the metabolism up to 13%. Why not start your day cranking up the metabolism an extra 13%? It is also an appetite suppressant. If you're not overeating, studies show that putting this one food in may reduce the number of calories you consume throughout the day compared to not putting it in. And of course, 
the doc is talking about coffee. Coffee, done right, can be a health regimen in the morning. I'm not saying you're replacing all your nutrients and all you're doing is just coffee, but we have a challenge coming up and we are going to be challenging you to replace breakfast with healthy coffee. Hot versions last week, what you put, what, what the coffee is made of, what you put in it, syrups, creamers, what you put on it, cinnamon, and what you get out of it. Coffee plus Moringa plus healthy fats. You can actually get a lot of nutrients from breakfast in a liquid super fast, not even have to think about it for cents a day and be out the door and preserve fasting mode and make a huge difference on the waistline. It's all going down in April. I'm gonna be doing the training next week on it to break down starting your day right. If you can start the day right, you can mess up, you can have fires, you can have other things that go on later in the day, but if you get the start of the day right, a little bit of nutrients in, maybe I even get you doing a little movement or a little mindset, heart set, soul set, little bit of work, a couple of minutes pouring into yourself, you might be a little more filled up to, to pour out instead of just pouring out all day long and exhausting yourself, physically running yourself down, dealing with disease, extra weight, making, making bad decisions because you have no more willpower left so you just go to Chick-fil-A mm -hmm. and you just say, I don't wanna make healthy food today or you have nothing to pour out where your heart is hardened and your soul is empty. Starting your day right is the remedy for that and I feel like now more than ever, so many Americans are struggling with this and it leads to a lot of anxiety because we're hard on ourselves. We have a lot of shame and we make bad choices and we're stuck in a cycle. <laughs> April is the time to snap out of it. What a great time of year for a little, little change, a little spring cleaning, little mix up. So this coming Friday, a week from today, you can register and be a part of that. Start in your day right training and I will start to frame the coffee challenge that's going down in April for you all. So to register for it, there's a simple link right there. You can check this out and there is a registration page. Looks just like this. Enter your email. You will get instant access to the coffee recipe guide that I'm gonna show you in a second. You're gonna get access to the coffee challenge training. That's next Friday, March 22nd, right here, same time. You're also gonna get an entry in to win 12 bags of the coffee. 12 bags, coffee plus Moringa. To get a lot more out of coffee in your morning, Organic coffee, organic moringa, what a perfect combo. Both stoking that metabolism and getting a lot of antioxidants and nutrients in, anti-aging nutrients. And you will also get early access to the spring sale and exclusive new releases coming soon. So all of that just by hitting that registration button. When you do that today, you'll land right on this page and you can download the free coffee recipe guide made by this beautiful leprechaun standing next to me. <laughs> so she's at it again. She's going to break this down. We went hot last week, coming in hot. And we broke down the pods and some of these recipes in here. We're going cold this week. Put in the chat if you're a cold coffee lover. This could be a, maybe a, a bit of a replacement or suppressant for a pick-me-up later in the morning. Maybe you want one early afternoon because you got to press later into the day. I got to cut it off around then or it'll start messing <laughs> with the old sleep patterns. But this cold brew, or maybe it's just getting warm where you are and it's just too hot to drink hot coffee in the morning. So cold brews, very simple and very tasty. Let's do this, nurse. Sorry, I just had to... Get all the things out there. You did it. So Thank registration you. is in. Coaches post that up on Facebook and YouTube. If you're tuning in on Instagram, we can't post the link, but you can click on my name. That will open up my bio. There is a link tree link in my bio. If you click on that link, it'll open up a bunch of links. One of them is the coffee giveaway, so you can enter and win 12 bags. And also get registration for the training happening next week to start your day right. I'll be going in depth on that. Can't wait. Cold brews. You like it cold. I like I it hot. I don't like to be cold, but I like my coffee cold. This is true. So three recipes we want to highlight today in these. These are all found in the guide. Where are we starting? Um, let's start with the simplest. 
simplest first. It's like you wrote a book called Make Food Simple. I like your... <laughs> so these are crazy creative, crazy easy. So like this, this is, I love this concept because when I drink iced coffee, I don't want it to be watered down by ice, right? So water it down with iced coffee. And then you taste coffee instead of water. You literally brew this and just pour it in. That's it? That's it. It's just coffee. It does settle but obviously a little bit to the bottom, but you can use the pod concept here. They're just little miniature ice tray, ice cube trays. But if you wanted to add some components of something that you like, maybe you like some monk fruit, maybe you like the collagen powder, you could try experimenting with freezing these. In the morning, you just drop them in and boom. Then as it melts, you've got your morning drink. That's right. I so, I like that. People last week asked what the, what I use for the pods. Oh, the the cubes, or like the, the tray, you mean? I use the same A thing silicone for the one. pods as I do the ice one. I do silicone because it's just easier to pop out. Um, and because That's smart. I'm not putting hot coffee in here, I let it be room temperature uh, before I pour them in here. So it's putting hot onto silicone you could start to extrapolate some of the chemicals out of it. So we don't like to heat silicone too hot, so allow it to cool off a bit and then put it in there. Put in great, the great point. Same thing with plastic, if you have plastic trays. They just pop right up. Smart. Love it. That's super simple coffee ice cube pods. Let me show you this one so you guys know where this is at in your recipe guide. Heading right over to it. You're able to download this right now. It is going to be on the fourth page here. You've got the pods. So this is, last week I said you could add fat burning butter with butyric acid to help stimulate weight loss. Coconut oil. You could do collagen powder <clears throat> with the multivitamin. What you put in the coffee is really where you can make this into getting your nutrients during the day. So I put my collagen plus multi. I put the um, the butter and the coconut oil all in and it's an easy pod. You could just drop in and blend it. You can do the same thing with ice. So you could do some mocha pods. You could do some regular ones. We also went through syrup. If you're a syrup lover last week, it's not going to be quite as cranked up as that high fructose corn syrup stuff, but <laughs> it's going to be way friendlier on the waistline. What do we got next? Um, well, then you just, well, hmm. So I do just like iced coffee with a little splash of cream in here, but my second, if I want to get really crazy, favorite drink, actually instant. my favorite drink, I just don't do it every day. Instant, instant Dr. Living Good, Living Good Daily Coffee plus collagen creamer. You got instant organic coffee. So you're cutting down the pesticides organic, you're going to get way more antioxidants and nutrients out of it. Then I added in the collagen creamer. So you already have that in there. Just collagen serves as the creamer. You're getting source of healthy protein. Okay. You're already getting the butter powder and you're already getting the MCT oil. So it's all already in the bag. Scoop, go. You're gone. I feel like I forgot some stevia is sweetening this one, watch, so it's got a nice flavor. Watch. Oh, I put a little bit of sea salt in there. How I make it? A little bit of sea. Salt. Watch how I <laughs> recipe demonstration. Mm -hmm. This is cooking with me. Oh, now you uh, the water. Don't forget the water. <laughs> Grass-fed collagen butter powder. The flavor, which is vanilla. All of our flavors are checked, by the way, to make sure they are clean sources. There is a little organic whole um, pea protein in there, helps with the consistency of it, and adds in tryptophan, which means it's just a complete amino acid drink, by the way. A little bit of sea salt, you need a little electrolytes, and then the organic stevia. That's all in one right there. Instant coffee plus collagen. That's on big discount. Give right it approximately 67 stirs, or approximately stir for one minute. But add plus or minus to your liking. You've been hanging around the kids too long. How many stirs should I do, mommy? 72, 400. What, what time is it? 432. <laughs> it's what, you're just spitting out random numbers. What are you, you're not even making sense. 79. Kids. I'm gonna try this. Mm. It's delicious. I was trying to get the powder all in, but those ice cubes are. Yeah, that blend of the, the stevia and then the collagen creamer 
Woo! That's a latte in a glass mm -hmm. to go. I want to try that with hot water. Right now? See how that one goes. No, I don't have to do it right now. It'll be too noisy. But the... Too yeah, noisy. Our, our, our hot water extractor back there. It's too noisy to make hot water. <laughs> you know, water. Water. Heat it up. It's, well, yeah. We don't need to do that. Our water, our tea machine. That's how simple that one is. On the go, boom, love it. So good. Now, again, two easy ways. The simple ice cubes, the simple instant. Again, yeah. what? What are you saying? Again, it's just the, I don't want it watered down after a while. I want my coffee you, to you, you got that detail. That's impressive. You know, I'm like, oh, it's watered down. What can I do? I well, can't do anything about it. You're like, I got a solution. I won't drink it if it's watered down. It's true. It doesn't taste good. Are we moving on to the next one? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, man. What a surprise. Check this out. So back to the recipe guide. You can register right now. Link is in the bio on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. It's posted up. You got coffee breakfast smoothies. You got coffee smoothie bowls. You got coffee cookie balls. You got protein iced lattes, frappuccinos, popsicles, and coffee, simple coffee ice cream. I tried this last night. I had to stop, one. so we had a demo to show you guys. The next one is the one I actually made. Got it. Let me show you this one. So <laughs> that's the coffee one. We made the, you made, I had nothing to do with this, uh, chocolate coffee ice cream. I Bananas, almond butter, cocoa powder, two scoops of the instant coffee plus collagen creamer. Woo! I, I may have snuck in an extra scoop. Three scoops <laughs> of the instant coffee plus collagen creamer. I wanted to taste that over. I want. I want it. I, I always go ice cream. I always go the old consistency check, and it was solid. You know, because sometimes it can get like real clumpy or whatever. That's got a good like. Now you're getting bananas here. If you're, if you don't want to completely sabotage the old weight loss, right? You want to be careful with this, or maybe eat it a little bit earlier in the day. Sorry allowed to make chocolate ice cream so simple though otherwise you got one right above it where you go coconut milk yes so that one collagen instant coffee you can add a little more sweetener if you need to you could add a little vanilla extract if you need to that one what that one i like better if i'm going to use like some type of ice cream maker or turner there's some simple there's really quick ice cream makers nowadays where you don't have to let it turn all day long <laughs> Got it. But so I like that one a little bit better if I'm where going this to... one you can more blend up because the it's the banana that's gonna give you that consistency. You know? Right. And it's just really fast to make. But if you love like the chocolate banana concept, this is delicious without even like this was very chocolate peanut butter to me. Very. Like ooh, I'm I'm like big fan, big fan of chocolate peanut butter. So that would be a whole food healthy dessert, right? Best thing when you're trying to, you know, overcome type 2 diabetes, get your broken metabolism under control, but maybe not, but this is the type of stuff that you can still really enjoy. It takes minutes to make, and a lot of times those bananas are going bad on the counter anyway. So flip it into a little bit of ice cream, sneeze yourself some instant coffee plus collagen creamer, brings it all together, gives it some sweetness. It yeah, was and I good. think if you wanted less, that you could do less peanut butter flavor and just do chocolate coffee as well you could that'd be good too you could but yes but also no <laughs> you love the peanut butter i did it was like cold stone in the kitchen last night like, what's <laughs> happening in here right, let me try that i'll demo demo trier i'm in sign me up <laughs> i'm not a huge chocolate fan but the other flavors in that helped me too. avocado great option yeah that's a great way to get that consistency as well gonna have to play with the flavor of it because that's gonna alter it a little bit more but avocado is a great option the good thing about frozen avocado you don't taste the avocado especially if you add things like coffee chocolate so that's a great alternative to the banana as well yeah super tasty the coffee pot that we use i actually just got a I like the glass one. I just found one on Amazon. I got no no connection to that one. So this is glass. Well, if you're talking about like the coffee maker, we have some on the marketplace, on our Facebook marketplace that are stainless steel based. So you're not putting heat through a lot of plastic. Yep. But um, I, I, yeah, any that are, we like the kind that grind for us. Yeah, like fresh ground. Grinder. Yeah. So, so like a I'll go whole, has a nice. I'll go whole bean and 
when I did the research on the Living a Daily Coffee, we're gonna have some specials on this, some packages so that you can be able to get the Living a Daily Coffee and then the instant coffee plus collagen and be able to use this as part of your morning regimen. Tune in next Friday as I lay out the training to start your day right and then announce uh, as a part of that how to be able to get this. You can also um, get extra opportunities to win an entire 12 bags, 250 cups of it. But running Moringa through a hot water extractor, coffee machine, actually enhances its nutrient density. It's already, what did I tell you last week? Six times more nutritious than other leafy greens when it comes to the amount of calcium, the amount of potassium, the amount of the, all these good nutrients for you. And it's an incredible antioxidant. It enhances it putting it through a coffee maker. So I like to fresh ground it on, you know, and put it in. Our most popular is ground already, but I like the whole bean to, to grind it on the spot. Do you remember when we first got samples of the ground with Moringa? <laughs> we didn't figure out how to get it to not taste like Moringa. It was like tea. It tasted like green tea coffee. It took us a long time to formulate how do we combine coffee and Moringa and, and make it taste like coffee. preserve the great taste of coffee. It's like, it's try, trying to combine. It's like mushroom coffee for all of the views that are buying it. You're just combining mushrooms with coffee. They're using instant, right? We were able to figure out first ever to exist, how to get Moringa to stay on a coffee bean, let alone in the ground coffee. And then that's the only nutrient that I know has solid research for when you run it through a coffee extractor, it actually makes it better. A lot of nutrients can't make it through, like adaptogenic herbs wouldn't make it through the, through the coffee maker. Mm -hmm. So that's what I love about it, of, of that enhancement. Antioxidant meets antioxidant, gets better with hot water. <laughs> great. That's wild. I got pretty excited about it. So we made it last year. Um, I will be breaking it down in the training. I'll give you backstory on it this coming Friday and then do the start your day regimen, start laying this thing out for you. And then at the start of April is when I'm gonna challenge all you guys on top of our normal challenge. This doesn't replace what we normally do um, with our monthly challenges at Living Good Daily. It's gonna be one simple change, kind of a focus for you during that season. Um, but we wanna bunch, invite a bunch of people to be able to kick that off and join in first step check out the recipes because you're going to replace breakfast with one of these delicious recipes and you can grab it right meow. Can you say meow? Uh, do I look like a cat to you, Jessica? <laughs> so here's the registration. Real simple. You're going to enter. You'll get entered into the giveaway, the early bird access to the spring sale. You're going to get exclusive coffee deals and a surprise new release coming at Yeha very soon. Right after you register, you'll drop onto this page. You can download this coffee guide for free. You'll have your giveaway entries and all of your details below the Start Your Day Right Coffee Challenge and the training coming up next Friday. That's all included with it. So dive into this thing. Have some fun with it. Deliciousness. Thanking you for your lucky recipes. <laughs> My pleasure. Yes. Such good stuff. So, hope you're diving, diving in for it. And maybe on the next round, I'll also add in the uh, the Moringa to that instant as well. It's got so much else going uh, on there. So, yep. Be interesting. Avocado definitely works for sure. Yeah. So, Linda, we'll still be working it. Even if you're like, I don't drink coffee. <laughs> like, none of it applies. Jump into the Start Your Day Right training for next week because I'll be breaking that down and Jump start showing. And start your day right. Yeah. Without coffee. Somehow. Somehow. <laughs> it's a big focus for it. It's just a different angle, something to try. So I'm excited to, to dive into that with you and give you some simple ways to start impacting the waistline. But this weekend, it's St. Patrick's Day. So green goes down on Sunday. Don't forget that from this Irishman, Irish, Irishman. To the rest of you. You have a busy weekend ahead. A lot of leprechaun traps to make. The kids are pretty excited to try to capture the leprechauns. <laughs> I don't know where this came from, but we make leprechaun con traps. I didn't grow up doing that. Leprechaun traps. Oh, it's a thing now. They make them in schools now. It's Yeah, it's we're full on trying to catch those little buggers. We'll have some fun <laughs> on Sunday. And then next Wednesday, I'll be back for a live Q&A to answer any of your health specific questions. I know some of you had some today. That goes down on Wednesdays right here. And then Friday, I will do the training and then I'll also do some health questions uh, and such extended Q&A next week. 
So recipe guide there to download. Those cookie balls look really good, coffee cookie balls. So try some of those. And happy early St. Patrick's Day to you, Loco the Irish. Good? Anything yeah. else? I forget anything? I don't think so. We had ice cubes, we had instant, and we had coffee. I mean, ice cream. That was yeah, it. Ice cream. So we got We're good. All right. There it is, peeps. Go enjoy those recipes. The registration link is right there for you. If you're catching us on Instagram, that is in my bio. Click on my name, open the link tree link, and you'll be able to see the registration. Enter the giveaway. I hope you win. Enjoy the recipes, and I'll see you for the training next week. Thank you. And go make it a great day. You might as well. You're yeah, never going to get it back. Never going to get it back. <laughs> I thought you were going to finish my... I was about to say I was in the middle of saying You were still going? I, I, was, I thought for sure you were I was done. just thanking for the beautiful recipe, the beautiful oh. lady that made all the recipes. That's, oh, that's all I was going to I was just going to add that. <laughs> just trying to... I'm sucking up. Okay? I'm sucking up now. So... Goodbye, everyone. Have a great weekend. See you, peeps. <laughs>